Hi, my name is Julie Updike and I'm here with the leadership team at Sykes Elementary. We've got Haley Buzon, Victoria Hackett, Joanna Benefield, and Christy Turner. And we are meeting today to work up a plan to implement in the school to celebrate our students and our teachers and staff on the successes that they're having throughout the school year. Um, what I wanted to start with is just going over our vision. So I want to focus it on our vision. So we know our vision and our three main goals kind of tie in together. We have our attendance goal, our academic goal, and then our behavioral goal. We kind of already all know those. So what I want the plan to focus on is when the students are not necessarily reaching this goal, but they're striving for success towards those goals. Um, first, I wanted to touch on just kind of the students and some things that we're already doing to celebrate their successes. We know we have the golden ticket system where if they're caught doing something good by you guys or anyone in the building, they get that golden ticket. It's kind of an extrinsic and intrinsic reward for them because they get to call home to their parents and let them know they've done something. But then you guys know they also get like a sucker and sometimes come back to class and maybe get something special there as well. So that's going really good. I think we definitely keep that in the plan as far as that. And then some um, in-classroom things that we do. I know not all teachers do it, but some do Fun Friday where if they've had a great week, worked hard all week, then they get maybe a little extended play time with different types of toys and stuff at the end of the day. Or out on, at the end of the week on Friday. So do you guys have any ideas of anything that you think we could add in to celebrate the students? And it can be, like I said, extrinsic or intrinsic. Well, uh, what about like a half a year reward day or award day where they can, you can focus on grades, you can maybe make goals maybe at the beginning of the year and they could work toward that for a half, that half the year, that first semester. And then uh, this kind of gives them something to work forward to yeah. also. Um, I know in the past, and we haven't done it lately, but I guess because of COVID, mm -hmm. but we used to do the breakfast with um, principals yeah, yeah. and they have like waffles and I think even bacon for yeah. perfect attendance mm -hmm. for the first semester and we could even do it by nine weeks too because I know some of the situations right. with COVID can come mm -hmm. up. Right. Yeah. Um, but that was nine weeks. Yeah. Yeah. In the past we also used to do pizza parties for things yeah. like that. Um, so that would be something I don't know. Uh, I remember one teacher would you know, take the kids that had won some kind of award or met their goal and they would get to have pizza in that teacher's classroom. Yeah, that was kind of an idea I had too, was um, them having like a special lunch and that kind of ties in with that, like them get to choose like something cheap like McDonald's, Burger King, mm -hmm. something, you know, we could get behind if they were doing good towards any of the goals. Mm -hmm. um, we could kind of tie into those. But we'll keep those, now you guys got those, so we'll hang on to those and in the end we'll kind of pick one specific student intrinsic and student extrinsic and those, that'll go into the plan and then we can have those other ideas. I don't want to try to implement too much at one time because mm -hmm. I know that can be overwhelming for the leaders and just teachers in the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, moving on to teachers, so a couple things that I know we kind of get and I really wanted this to kind of be the main focus of the plan because of everything that is going on with COVID. Teachers are just really, they're, they're work, working very hard right now. I know them tired and um, I want to do something to really celebrate what everybody's doing in the building because everybody is working extra hard. One thing that the leaders do is they bring around that loop loop card. I know sometimes it's not coming around like it should, but it does come around every so often we get a special treat out of it. And that's kind of an, you know, an extrinsic thing. And Dr. Pepper or any type of soda, chips, candy bar, something we need to help us get through the day. And then the golden ticket drawing, and that's not something you might not always get, but it's kind of a reward for you rewarding the successes of the student. So we know, you know, when the student gets the golden ticket, your name also goes into a drawing, so you could potentially get something there. Um, I feel like everybody's probably got some pretty good ideas on some things we might could do for teachers. What do y'all think there? What might we could do? I think just giving words of affirmation you know just a simple staff shout out um, maybe on Facebook or yeah. um, just leaving a note in the classroom of hey you're doing a great job mm -hmm. um, you know sometimes those simple things yeah. are just mm -hmm. yeah, really nice yeah. to hear that you're being acknowledged and you're doing a good job and hey I see you so yeah or if they're like walking by you in the hall and they come to me like hey I noticed 
kids to do this, I think that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely so make sure, you know, stepping out and recognizing more. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think um, the duty free lunches or the order out days, those are like a huge motivation for me because I like to eat and a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times we're here and we can't leave. Yeah. Oh, you know, and our friends are like, oh, well, you know, we ate here for lunch or we did this for lunch. And you know, we forget our lunch some days or we're, we're just wanting something different than lunchroom food. And so it's nice to know, oh God, we got to have a real meal at lunch. And then it's even nicer when you get to have a lunch um, by yourself or yeah. just with your colleagues because yeah. yeah. we don't even yes. get to sit with each other at lunch. We yeah. have to sit with our kids. And so we miss that adult interaction. Yeah. 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 Um, I know we've all been here. When you wake up a little late and you think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? If you don't get it ready the night before. <laughs> yeah. I've done that so many times. I would love a gene day. Mm -hmm. Like you could either, you could do it school wide or you could do it, even do it like each, each grade level. Yes. Like you could go, okay, like kindergarten, here's your week to pick any day you'd like to wear a jean. First grade, here's here's your week or here's your month. You can pick one or two days you can wear anytime you want. Yeah. And you can like, because it's so nice when you get to, when you wake up late or you don't get your stuff ready yeah. and, or you're just not feeling it that day and you've had a rough night before and, and you need, or you know you're going to do some kind of fun art project, you need to get on the ground more. Sure. Wear jeans that day. Yeah. I love that. I love those days where I get to just wear that mm -hmm. and wear a comfortable shirt with that, nice shoes, and you just feel like you can have a little do more that yeah. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the hospitality group, they used to do, I think, employee of the month stuff too. Yeah. And yeah. so then they would, um, everybody voted on like a Google oh. Doc or something. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of get like a small reward, like yeah. Uh, yeah. they would announce it over the intercom, mm -hmm. and you get like a cup or like just something cute, you yeah. know. But we need to bring that back because I remember it would happen a couple months, and then you know we get busy. Yeah. It's Christmas, uh -huh. it's Thanksgiving, yeah. all the things, and yeah. yeah. And that's something that could have. I mean, that's something that happens often. It's not something you wait, and it's just one teacher. It's yeah. that happens every month. Yeah. And that's something to look forward to. Too. Yeah. Well, and I think going along those lines, and that's kind of what I want to make sure is in the plan also, is making sure that maybe someone other than just the principal or assistant yeah. principal, because they're tied down a lot, and I get that, um, making sure that teacher leaders in the building are maybe in charge of some of that. And I kind of had some of the same ideas, like a Facebook shout out, because I mean, who doesn't love when they post your picture or something and say, you've done a great job. Um, I think everybody likes that. So that kind of leads right into, um, like, like I said in the beginning, I kind of just want to pinpoint one intrinsic, one extrinsic for teachers and students, not to just overwhelm anybody that's trying to implement the plan. And then we can have a course stuff that we'll just kind of list at the bottom of the plan to add in later once this kind of becomes fluid or um, if this is not working anymore, if somebody wants to change something, it's kind of there. So we'll pinpoint one and then I want to talk about like what you were saying. Um, we've done it some stuff, we've done some months, and then we don't. So how can we really just ensure that it's getting implemented? Like, what are y'all's thoughts on that? I know you can do it. I like your idea for hospitality. teacher leaders in the part yeah, of the hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hospitality. Mm -hmm. You know, grade level. Yeah, like teacher leaders, leaders yeah. yeah. And we need, like, a backup for them. Even. I know that yeah. yeah. sounds silly, but our like, extras. Yes. Like, like Hope Gore and yeah, that's Courtney true. Hallford and... Hey, good, and she's on the announcements every morning anyway. Right. That's you know, true. Um, yeah. Did y'all hear the staff shout out the other day from like Kim Smith got on and gave a shout out? I guess it was to to Gore for staying and helping in the office, like because Wanda was out yeah. with COVID or something, mm -hmm. and um, it was just like wanted to, you know, tell Hope Gore how much we appreciate her up in the office today. Right. Um, you know, so they do get those little moments of breaks in transitions yeah, between true. one group to the out. next that they got, you know, I know their plates are full too, but they got a little more flexibility yeah. than sometimes, you know, if we're in there with our kids, we kind of can't leave. Yeah. And if you do, we as teachers yeah. too, that's going to put one more thing on, right. and I think that might be a little bit of a downer, so I'm kind of glad you brought that up. Yeah. That's a good idea. Extra. Then I know they we were kind of talking before about, you know, if like a grade level was in charge of something then like one month it's you one month it's you one month it's you one month it's you then you're yeah. doing it like one, one month, month out of yes. the year really that's, yeah. only, that's only one thing out of a month 
So I think that's good. We can kind of put in there that either the grade levels or um, some of the extras. And when, mm -hmm. once we get done with this meeting, we'll kind of sit down and we can just get it all written up and everything. Um, what do you think would be an intrinsic one for students and staff like Pimple? We gave some good ideas. I know for staff, um, we have the staff shout out. I think that's, oh, that's yeah. a good one. And that can go, like you said, with that can be staff way. shout out and mm -hmm. Facebook. I know mm -hmm. there's multiple editors on the Facebook, so somebody mm -hmm. can just put that on there. Yes. Okay, um, for students. I think that could be a good intrinsic for students. Yeah. Um, is a student yeah. shout out yeah. even. Because they, they all stop and look at the golden tickets. Right. But to to have it shouted out, which they're already doing that on Facebook. Right. But even maybe when they hop on to shout out a teacher, I pulled shout one of the golden they, tickets yeah. and just shout okay. it out at the same time. Oh, yeah. And I know when they call for golden tickets, like when they hear those names. So uh -huh. maybe just making sure all the golden ticket names yeah. are being called and that can be like a quick afternoon thing. Okay, so we'll go with um, for the staff shout outs for staff and then just shout outs for students mm -hmm. as well. What about extrinsic for staff? What's one we can put into place now for sure and list some of those other ones? I like the employee of the month because you can almost incorporate gene pass, you can yeah. do the student, yeah, the do lunch. free lunch. Yeah. So doing one thing, you can kind of incorporate all of that. And I think it gets more people. Yeah, well, because yeah. it's not, you know, um, rewards or like going out to get them something like a right. cover, that costs money, right. but duty free lunch doesn't cost money. Right. And that's right. what they do. We like those. Yeah, things. so the employee of the yeah. month goes hand in. I, takes a little bit yes. of stress off of people having to do it. Yeah. Okay. And if it's a whole month, you can bring jeans up once a week, mm -hmm. maybe do free lunch maybe twice. I give a little extra yeah. too Absolutely. since it is free. Yeah. And if that's stuff we really want, I'd rather have that than something bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. That sounds good. For sustainability, I put this in there. Um, when we had our foundations meeting with the foundations team, one thing that he went over with us was being sure if teacher leaders leave the building or actual leaders leave the building, how can you ensure that the things you put in place stay in place and don't disappear? Because if they don't know you're doing it, so they have the foundation's notebook. So what I'm thinking, and y'all tell me if you have any other ideas, is once the plan gets written up, a copy of it just goes into that notebook and it's there for whoever comes in. I know it sounds simple, but that's where everything else is. So that's what I was thinking as far as keeping it sustained and making sure it's there no matter who's here. Mm -hmm. So you guys have anything else? You could even add it to the planner. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. That is something that yeah. mm -hmm. we go over every year at the beginning mm -hmm. of the year. And then it's kind of a conversation starter of, okay, how are we going mm -hmm. to keep this up? And in mm -hmm. there, it lists who's doing car mm -hmm. duties and who's doing mm -hmm. uh, this and who's doing that. So that could even be in the plan when yeah. it lists every year at the FJ. And that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, I still look at my playing from last year <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sometimes yeah and I compare so yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good idea. well I appreciate you guys meeting with me we'll get it written up and we'll get it into motion thank y'all awesome thank you